Hi guys, DevonTurksYZ, and this installment of The Good and the Bad, I want to do a different game besides fighting and sport related games, and I decided to settle on an Unreal shooter, and the one I played was Time Crisis 2. It was developed and published by Namco, and weirdly, I'm not really too much into Unreal shooters, you know, it's just... Some of them are just kind of have some charm that I find interesting, and this is kind of one of the few that I really did like. So let's take a look. Well, for the good of this game, one thing I can say immediately is I do like the, the gun con system where you can actually use a, a replica handgun and pretty much control the game that way. You know, you basically just use the, the trigger button on the gun to fire. You had to use the D-pad to select things and also to use the cover system, which I find that pretty useful. You know, I mean, you can more or less control everything just by using the gun itself, so that's a pretty good plus for me. Uh, second, I would say, weirdly, I would say the game being pretty short is actually a good thing in this case you know I mean I never really experienced any long on rail shooters and I know the reason for that is because you have to keep constantly holding the gun up and you know after a while holding the gun up kind of gets a little bit tiring so I'm kind of glad it's not too long of a game you know you can roughly complete it in about a good like 20 25 minutes you know probably even less if you want to speed run through the entire thing and third good is they do have a lot of additional modes you know, besides the main story they have like a lot of uh, training missions you can try out and you know basically testing your accuracy skills you know your quickness sometimes they throw you like challenges that you know with stipulations and you know, it kind of gives you a, like a big variety of things you can do you know besides doing the main story Well, in terms of bad, there are probably just a couple of things I would kind of complain about, and one of them being the story, you know, I mean, like the actual story that's within the main game, and I would say the story is kind of on the bland side, you know, uh, I mean, I've seen gameplay from every Time Crisis game, and, you know, all the stories are kind of pretty shallow and kind of cliche, and they usually kind of end the same way, too. You know, so it's not really something spectacular, you know. I, that's why I kind of usually just ignore the story altogether and just focus on the actual combat itself. And then second, uh, like I said, you can use the gun con to play the game, which I highly do recommend using that. But unfortunately, the gun con 2, at least for Time Crisis 2, you can only use those guns on the old-fashioned TVs, you know those cathode tube type TVs, you know, so you can't use them on plasmas. I've tried using them on a plasma screen, it doesn't seem to register at all. So, which is kind of the reason why, if I play this game again, I'm stuck using a controller, which is very awkward on an Unreal shooter. Well, in terms of improvements, well, for one thing with the whole gun con issue, I mean, well, I mean, it's not really the game's fault for that. That's more of a user error. Um, I mean, I guess the only thing you can remedy that is if you manage to get your hands on the GunCon 3. Uh, from what I've heard, you can use GunCon 3 on older games, you know, on the PS2, especially if you have, like, a plasma screen TV. Uh, but since it uses, like, a sensor bar, so it doesn't truly rely on the type of TV you have. But uh, in terms of story, though, I'd say... You know, it would have been better if they have like a longer story, thereby maybe having a slightly longer game mode. And, you know, I wouldn't see a huge issue with that. You know, I just would like to see some more uh, more dialogue in between the characters because it just felt kind of rushed. You know, the whole story just felt rushed. And, you know, so I wouldn't mind having like a longer game that be. I mean, even Time Crisis 5 is doing a longer game mode. You know, I think as of right now, there's like six stages from what I've heard. I mean, Time Crisis 5 has just recently been out. It's only out in arcades for the time being. But, uh, yeah, but I guess they could have modeled the same thing after that. Well, overall, Time Crisis 2 is a pretty good game, and it held up quite well, even for being out for over a decade. And, uh, 
what I also found out pretty interesting is the characters in Time Crisis 2, you know, uh, Keith and Robert, they are actually in Time Crisis 5, which is the latest installment of the game. And uh, I just kind of find that pretty interesting, you know. They're in the game, kind of in like a breaking the fourth wall type of moment. You know, so it's kind of strange how those two games kind of somewhat relate to one another. And, you know, as of right now, uh, Time Crisis 5 is only in arcades, but who knows, maybe when it comes out on consoles, I might give that a try. Uh, but anyway, for Time Crisis 2, I would give it a final score of an 8 out of 10, and I highly recommend giving this a try. And if you do, just get your hands on a gun con, because that's pretty much the way you, you should really be playing it, you know, don't use a controller. Well, this is Devil XYZ, and until next time.